humanoids, Halfling Hannah here from Halfling Hobbies, and today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects yet again, my DM binder. This beauty is my best friend, and I couldn't imagine DMing without it. However, every DM binder is only as useful as the pages that are in it. And today I'm going to show you and go over the five most useful pages in my entire binder. And I promise these are probably gonna surprise you. Before we get started though, at the end of this video, I have a really cool announcement that I am super excited about as well as a freebie for all of you viewers. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Here we go. All right, make sure that you like this video if you find it helpful and subscribe to Halfling Hobbies. I have loads of content specifically for DMs and helping DMs be the best that they possibly can. So let's dive into the five surprisingly useful pages that are in my DM binder. The first ones, well, really all of them, have to do with event planning. So. There are tons of resources out there, apps, websites, all this stuff for encounters, but there is very, very little for events. Events are the things that just kind of happen randomly in your world. And you, it's like the responsibility for making these is squarely put on the DM's shoulders, and that can be a big burden to bear. And so I started making these pages just to help me out a little bit when I'm DMing and my players happen to be walking somewhere and I want something to happen. I can't trust myself to be able to come up with something on the spot in those moments that's actually interesting or engaging. So I created pages for this. Doo -doo. These are set up to be based on the area that my players are in. And I'm just gonna blow it up and put it over here so you can see it a little bit better. These are based on the areas that my players are in. Specifically, I have mountain events, urban events, and forest events because it feels like that's where my players are most often. And I have multiple pages of these, but they are all centering around the same idea. And that is, what can happen in this environment that is interesting for my players? Maybe it's some kind of side quest, maybe it leads into an encounter where they're going to fight, or maybe it's just something cool and lore building for my world. See, the things that you find online of random events, they're not, it's not that they're not good, it's just that they're extremely difficult to use in a moment when you need something for your world. If your world has any homebrewing to it at all, it can be difficult to find events that'll fit. And it can be really difficult to find events that might happen where you are. I mean, if you use the back of the DM um, screen, screen, if you use the DM screen, there's actually random events on the back of the DM screen. However, if you roll a dice, and your players are in the forest and you roll your dice and you get, there's a knock at the door. Yeah, you can uh, make a magic door appear and there be a knock at it, but then there's a whole bunch more that you gotta come up with on the fly for that, right? I needed something that was specific to the environment that my players were in, which is why I made these pages. So it's designed to where I can either use it, scan it very quickly and find something that I want to use, or if I'm feeling especially feisty that night, I might roll a d6 and take whatever happens randomly because I know that all of the events could logically happen in any part of the forest, mountains, or city. So here's how I set it up. So first of all, I have the hook. So the hook is what I would say to my players to grab their attention and show them that something is going on. In this mountain events one, the first hook that I have on here is, the air is brisk, snow is falling in small flurries. You are shocked to see a flower pushing through the snow. It is deep purple in color and seems to be thriving here. 
It's something interesting, it's something out of the ordinary, and it's something to catch my player's attention. They can then go towards it, investigate it, maybe even pick it, and if they roll a high enough nature check, I will tell them that this flower is extremely rare and used to create cures for many different kinds of diseases. This is an event, it's something interesting, it's something that can come into play later. Maybe I pull that and I use that in the small town that they're getting ready to go to. Perhaps it's being wrecked by a plague that no one knows how to stop. And they have this flower and they have a moral choice. Do they keep it and sell it for a lot later on? Or do they give it up and use it to make medicine for this small town? I love moral dilemmas, by the way. They're super fun. Uh, some more of these on here could lead to combat encounters, such as the eagle, which is the second one. So a giant eagle takes off off of a ledge and some rocks roll down. They have to make a dexterity saving throw. And then perhaps the eagle comes and attacks as well. But for the most part, these are designed to be interesting. They're designed to add a little bit of flavor to the world and let the players know that the world in which they are traveling in has things happening all the time and things that they can discover. Yet it takes the burden off of trying to come up with those things on the spot from me because honestly I'm not really that good at that. I'm much better at preparing ahead of time and then making it seem like I'm coming up with things on the fly. So those are three out of the five pages and they all kind of center around the, right, the same thing. You can make as many of these as you need. You could even make them city specific. So if you are in the Eberron setting, you could make one specific to Sharn or to Rote or uh, even the Mornlands. You could do things specifically for the setting that you're in. If you're home brewing your own, this is where this becomes so useful because you still have control over the flavor and the style of things going on, but it still allows you to be random and to come up with things on the fly in the middle of your session. The next pages. It is insane how much I use this page. I use this more than like my villains page. And it is unique tavern specials. If you know anything about me, you know I love a good tavern and especially I love a good tavern special. But if you've been in one tavern, it feels like you've been in all of them and they get so boring and like repetitive by the middle of the campaign. So I love, love to have unique tavern specials for some of the taverns that my players encounter. And again, I'm not great with coming up with those on the fly, so I sat down and I made a list of things that I think would be cool at a tavern. So the top one here, you have a special drink and the bartender created this drink when he was off on an adventure. So you can tell your players about this adventure. It might even lead them to want to go into that area. One of my favorites though is number three on this list, which is the wild boar hunt. So this will probably take place in a smaller tavern um, that's well-traveled by adventurers in the middle of nowhere. And uh, each and every day, there's a boar hunt for the dinner that evening. And the adventurer who brings in the biggest boar gets the seat of honor at the evening's festivities, almost like becoming hero for the day. So these keep taverns a little fresher, a little more interesting, give some events to happen. Uh, your players could choose to be a part of that boar hunt and it creates a, a side quest of trying to find the largest boar, or they can simply choose to ignore it and enjoy the night's festivities, but it still gives it an awesome flavor. And then my last one, and I have used this one in my campaign. I absolutely adore it and it has set up so many interesting plot turns for my campaign that I never <laughs> expected when I made this sheet, which is why it was so surprising to me how useful it was. And that is a list of fortunes. This can be used anytime that your players go to a fortune teller of some kind. Perhaps they meet a gypsy on the side of the road. Perhaps there's someone who specifically seeks them out to tell them their fortunes or someone in a tavern who's doing uh, just like a magic show and they say that they tell fortunes. You can use this to randomly give players a fortune. For example, number one, the fortune is Watch the mirror closely lest your reflection blink. And the actual like coming true of this fortune 
is that the players are being stalked by a doppelganger who is looking to take over and kill one of them and replace themselves uh, uh, with that player's body so that they can get a little bit of the fame and attention that the party is garnering. So these are all super fun and they have been a blast to use in my campaign. I absolutely love this. And this has been so surprisingly useful and helpful. Something that I thought would just be, you know, something fun uh, in passing has become an integral part of my campaign. And I highly recommend doing something like this. It, again, add some more flavor to your world, some more interesting things, and your players, uh, when they write down their fortunes, if your players do, mine did, they're always looking around for how that fortune might come true, which is really fun. All right, those of you who stuck around, thank you so much. Here is my special announcement. So these pages I made on Canva. It's a free online uh, graphic design resource. It, I'm not affiliated with them. They're not sponsoring this um, or anything like that. I just use them and really, really, really enjoy it. Um, so I make all of my DM pages on there because I can make them look really nice. I can create templates. Well, here is the freebie for you. I have created a template of these event pages for the DM binder that I very sneakily hid in the description down below. So you can click on that link, make a copy of the template, and then get to work making your own events for your campaign. My announcement, however, is if you don't feel like going to all the trouble and all the work to come up with all of these ideas to make it look absolutely perfect, well, I have launched a Patreon where I will have all of my DM Binder pages, tons of resources for DMs, all available on there. And I have special gifts for, as a thank you for my very first patrons at each tier level. So I am so excited to announce that. That's also down in the description below. If you love Halfling Hobbies and you want to support me to make even more content and resources for DMs, then be sure to go over to Patreon and support me on there. I would be so, so grateful. Or you can like this video and subscribe to Halfling Hobbies right here on YouTube. That also helps me a lot. Guys, I am so excited for what the future holds. Maybe my fortune's on one of these papers. We'll see. Until next time, my friends, may your game have advantage. Kathleen Hannah here, signing out.